super luxurious it smells rich it smells like money like old money not new money hey guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new here my name is maria or it's mj here on youtube so in today's video as you guys can tell by the title i have the three for three tag video that has been going around here on youtube for over like a month now or a month ago i should say i was tagged by beauty medic here on youtube um she makes like fragrance related videos if you guys like my videos i'm sure you guys will like her videos so if you haven't checked her out go and check her out she has a very extensive perfume collection on like me i'm pretty new to this um and i'm learning as i go so i'm really really late to this video she tagged me i want to say like three weeks ago or two weeks ago but I've been so busy and I've been putting this off just because I didn't want to give you guys just a list of just any list, you know. I actually wanted to go through my fragrance and pick stuff that I really like. And on top of that, like I said, I'm pretty new to the whole perfume thing. I'm kind of just learning as I go. I just like smelling good at the end of the day. I'm learning what I like, what I don't like. And most of all, I'm pretty simple and I don't have like a super extensive... 50 plus perfumes um i mean i definitely have more than the average person but i definitely don't have as much as a lot of like the fragrance community here on youtube because that's really what they do i know that i post a lot of perfume videos but my channel isn't very 100 like perfume related i do have like lifestyle fashion and all that so i am learning as i go so it was kind of difficult for me to pick and choose what i wanted to talk about but i summed it down to a list that i think you guys will enjoy and as always, I like to put work into my videos. I don't like to come on here, turn on this camera, and just talk just to talk. I like to give you guys actually good information and be helpful. That was a really long intro, but with that being said, um, the point of the video was to do like a three for three. So you pick three of your favorite fragrance notes, and within those notes, you pick three perfumes. So for my first note, like I said, I'm kind of boring, so I decided to pick vanilla. But believe it or not, within vanilla... Um, it can be like a super simple vanilla or it could be like a very unique vanilla. I think that's a very important component in a lot of fragrance. It could be in the base, it could be in the heart, it could be in the opening. Um, there's different ways to play around with it. So I did try to pick three different ones that I feel like you guys will enjoy. So we're going to start off with um, Serge Luton's Umbois Venise. This is a niche fragrance but it's definitely more on the affordable side. <sighs> I like this stuff but it's unique. So this is more of your unique sort of vanilla. Like I said, it is niche, but you could find it on Fragrance Nets. Um, and this is a woody vanilla. It opens up super woody and spicy as well. Now, I will say that the heart of this is not my favorite. Um, it has like a waxy licorice sort of component that I am not really like in love with. But I feel like this fragrance definitely shines in the dry down and it's luxurious. Um, I feel like it's close to the skin so it doesn't project that crazy. It's definitely a fragrance that I feel like you will enjoy and someone that's very close to you will enjoy. So if they go in for a hug or if they go in for a kiss um they will enjoy i wore this to church yesterday and this um lady gave me a hug and she was like you smell so warm and cozy well that is search luton's umbois venise all right so now we're gonna move on to uh, a favorite of mine like i love this stuff well most of them are my favorites but whatever so this is dior addict and i love this perfume so if you watch my previous videos you guys know that i love um alien so this gives me alien vibes not that they smell the same but kind of like that same like sensual um prominence it's like full of like smexiness in a in a bottle i feel like when you wear this fragrance you want to get noticed you want to be seen and you want to be heard you definitely do announce your presence when you walk in with this sort of fragrance now i don't even know how to describe this fragrance but to me it's more of like a white floral vanilla sort of fragrance and just as the name describes it's super addictive and it just has a lot of character i'm going to a gala soon and i'm like deciding between um dior addict and alien all right so now i'm moving on to another dior fragrance this is poison girl but the edt version and this is <sighs> so good this is so good okay now moving on to my next note <laughs> but this is um almondy sweet vanilla and citrusy i got this during the fall because i forgot who i watched but i think that they describe this as like a um like an orangey um marshmallow if that were a thing they described it as this um also a lot of people th say that this is warm on me i don't 
consider this very warm i actually consider it pretty citrusy and fresh uh, but it's still sweet and also a little bit nutty so it has a slight bit of a creaminess to it i really like it unfortunately longevity is not that good on me but i do like it it has a, also a little bit of a play-doh ish vibe to it but i don't mind it it's super sweet super good i love this and this is poison girl the edt version all right so now for my next notes i decided to go with coconut just because like i said i was going around my fragrances and i wanted to pick something that i noticed had in common and i noticed that i actually like the note coconut i go towards that a lot i don't know if it's because i live close to the beach um but whatever i like the um no coconut apparently so the first fragrance that i have for you guys is zara um rwa i've talked about this before on my channel and i love this stuff it's super super good now this is from their tobacco collection from the men section but this i consider this like completely unisex um if anything i i think it actually leans a little bit more feminine rather than masculine but it is unisex now just as the name describes it it's rich it's warm and it's addictive um as i've described it before this reminds me of like a coconutty boozy eggnog so in this the coconut the rum and the honey is the most prominent for me and i think it's a super warm fragrance and it could be like a little bit sensual in my opinion but this is um what i did use during the winter time um as like a bed scent just because it makes me feel yummy cozy and warm um and it just has that quality to it so this is zara rich warm and addictive love this stuff longevity is also not that good you do have to reapply like crazy or like drench yourself in it but it's super good and i will definitely repurchase once i run out moving on to my next fragrance and this is rihanna's um rebel fleur um so the one that comes in the black um design i will say though i'm not a fan of this packaging i'm not very picky when it comes to to packaging but I, I don't care for the packaging of this it's kind of like uncomfortable to apply but whatever <laughs> let me go on with the fragrance i got this during the winter time and i was not particularly fond of it just because i consider it more of a summer fragrance and i wore it two times and coincidentally the two times that i did wear it um i got it like a super big headache like i got a migraine actually so the scent i will say lingers on forever it projects well and it just has really great longevity like and it's a celebrity fragrance like it's from rihanna and it's super inexpensive you can find it at burlington ross marshall's all those stores um and it's just very inexpensive for what it is and i will say that the scent is pretty unique but during the winter time i did not really enjoy this because it gave me a headache and it was one of those scents that was kind of like headache inducing i found it super like too powerful if anything and it would just annoy me like I, it was one of those fragrances that i can smell and i like to smell my fragrance but it was just like headache inducing like that's all i'm gonna say but after that i did use it one particular day when it was a lot more hot and i was actually at the park and for some reason with the heat it just meshed so well and i really liked it on my skin now this the coconut in this for me is not super sweet it's more of a refreshing sort of coconut so there's peach i believe in this i never looked at the notes till the other day when i was like um gathering the perfume that i was going to use for this video and for some reason now i can actually smell like that peach or apricot like in it mixed with the coconut but the coconut in this is not dense it's not thick it's not creamy for me it actually i can sense like coconut water um so i don't know if you guys have ever um had like fresh organic coconut water like literally the coconut falls from the tree you cut it and you drink the water so the coconut water is actually not super sweet it's actually just refreshing and it's light but it still has that coconut um taste to it so this is the coconut that i get from this one it's more of like a coconut um it's not super sweet water i'm super excited to wear it during the um summer months because i feel like this is gonna like mesh so well it just reminds me of like a martini like a tropical sort of martini um or like a drink um i don't know it just reminds me of the beach like you have like your 
your skin is kind of salty you have like a nice um, refreshing dress um, your skin is like glowing and tan and I have like my hair pulled back in a bun it just gives me like that sort of vibe like vacation time island really like this fragrance now and I cannot wait to wear it in the summer and moving on to my last fragrance I've talked about this a bunch of times and this is Ariana Grande cloud now there's lavender in this there's bergamot and there's obviously of course coconut so the coconut in this is very light it's very airy somehow also a little bit creamy it's a unique fragrance but i love this stuff it's also very sweet but not like in an obnoxious sort of a way they have this on fragrance nets and they also have it on amazon i believe the last time i saw it on amazon it was like a 3.4 so the bigger one for forty dollars you guys have watched my previous videos you guys know i love this stuff and i tried not to use it just because i was like overdoing it at a point but this is like a light coconutty um not super sweet not super obnoxious very light and airy a little bit fresh but not fresh like in a citrus way no it's sweet um it's good you guys some people um, say that this is a dupe for Baccarat Rouge 540. I don't think it's a dupe, but I think it's more of like a distant cousin. So if you are familiar with Baccarat Rouge 540, um, it has like that light and airy scent to it. I don't know how else to describe it, but it's really good and it smells a lot more expensive than what it is. And this is also obviously a celebrity fragrance and it is pretty affordable. I don't want to ramble on forever about this fragrance. Because I have talked about it so many times on this channel. So if you guys are interested in more of a review on it, I do have like a bunch of videos. Like I, I've talked about it for so long. So now we're going to move on to my last note. And that is Amber. So I'm actually going to start off with a perfume that's so special to me. And if you watch my previous videos, you guys know what it's about. You guys know which one I'm talking about. And this is Alien from Terry Moogler or now Moogler. Um, this is the, is this the old bottle? No, this is the new formulation. Unfortunately, I am trying to get my hands on the older formulation. I believe Sephora sells the older one, but I got mine from Fragrance Net and they do have the newer version. Um, on me, it still lasts a long time though. Like literally, like if I spray this room right now, which I did for one of my videos and I came back later on in the nighttime and I, the smell was just there. I was like, what the heck? Like, it's crazy. This is Alien. This is a very distinct sort of fragrance. It's very unique. I do not have anything like this. There's three notes in this, and they're very prominent throughout the whole way. It's Jasmine, Woody Notes, and Amber. And the Amber in this one is the um, Dry Down, so the base. Um, smexy. Smexy, Smexy, Smexy. Boss lady, you know what you want, you get what you want. Um, you announce yourself in a room. Like I said, I'm going to a gala very soon and I don't know whether to go for Dior Addict um, or Alien, but they're both similar. They smell different, but they have that same sort of vibe. Um, but I love this stuff. Just a boss scent. Um, and it's someone with attitude. Like, I love it. 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 Um, lingers on forever stays on the skin forever you do not need to um over spray this one i do because i love it so much but you do not need to one two and you're good to go definitely one of my favorite scents this is more of a floral sort of scent uh but like i said it has the woody element it's like more of like a dry woody element to it that it has but it's super luxurious it smells rich it smells like money like old money not new money uh, but that is Alien from Terry Moogler or now Moogler. So now we have another fragrance that I talked about. Not too much, but I did mention in another video. And this is Roberto Cavalli Gemma di Paradiso. Now this actually reminds me of... Um, what's that perfume called? Good Girl from um, Carolina Herrera. It, I don't know why, but it gives me like... I don't know if it's in the opening or in the dry down, but it reminds me a sort of of that one. So this is like also like a sultry, smexy sort of scent, but I still consider this more of an everyday sort of scent. I wear this to work um, from time to time. I don't think that it annoys anyone. Um, if anything, I get told that I smell good. So it's like a good smexy everyday sort of scent. There's pear and orange, I believe, in this one. So there's a little bit of a slight um, freshness to it, but not too fresh. For me, it's like a vanilla amber with a slight um fruity sort of scent um i don't know but this one's super super good i think this is going to be my scent of the day i'm in between this one and ariana grande cloud i think i'm gonna wear this one though because i'm going to work in a little bit but there's a slight this is gonna sound super weird and you guys are probably not gonna want it but 
if you have this fragrance maybe you're gonna understand what i'm talking about but there's a slight almost saliva sort of scent to it but it goes away and i like it i i love this stuff it's super smexy um it's like a vanilla ambery slight floral slight very very slight floral um but more of like a citrusy sweet fruity uh, i don't know it's hard to describe for me but it does remind me of carolina herrera good girl if you have smelled good girl from carolina herrera um and you have this one try them out like and like comment down below if you see the similarities like i do but if you have not tried this one if you like good girl you're probably gonna like this one um and amber is in the dry down of this and one to my last fragrance it's actually a um body mist and this is central amber from bath and body works i was gonna talk about another one but I'm gonna go with this one because the name says Central Amber and I did want to give like an affordable fragrance. I've used this for years. I was literally in elementary school using this. This is super affordable. It is a retired fragrance so you cannot find it in stores anymore. Um, they only bring it out from time to time and I think it's during the holiday time. But I also featured it in my last video which was like a, a Bath & Body Works haul because um, I never really bought fragrances from them. I'm actually not like a body mist sort of person. I'm more of a perfume kind of person. But I did try out some other ones. But they do have this online. Um, don't get it full price. I think full price is like $14. They always have sales going on. I subscribe to their like um, email list, whatever. And they had a $6 fragrance something, blah, blah, blah. Where it was like a 3 for 3. Plus on top of that, it was uh, 20 or 30% off. So I got a crazy good deal. I will say, even though it's a body mist, it lasts forever. And I mean not like it projects or whatever but it leaves a nice trail because whenever my cousin wears this or my mom um i know that they're wearing it and it just leaves like a nice sweet vanilla amber sort of scent and it just smells really good i was actually surprised by this fragrance because i did look up the notes when i was you know doing my research for this video and it had a bunch of notes that i never really detected from it um the only one that i guess i can see would be the praline there's praline in this one but for me it's more of an ambery vanilla scent mixed with a little bit of praline now that i know the notes but from the start like i said i've been wearing this from elementary and i just got vanilla and amber super sweet it's cozy it's warm and it's also kind of creamy so that is essential amber from bath and body works you guys super cheap super affordable six dollars or even less so that's pretty much it for um today's video so the three notes in a summary were vanilla coconut and amber other notes that i do enjoy um i will say according to my other fragrances i saw that there was tonka bean i noticed that i like tonka bean a lot i do like praline and almond and pistachio they're all like gourmand sort of notes um in my opinion but i do notice for my other fragrances that i gravitate towards those notes so that is pretty much it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you guys enjoy this video and subscribe to my channel if you guys want to see more of my content and more of my videos if you guys have any comments and concerns you can always comment down below or follow me on instagram or dm me on instagram and i love 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 to talk to you guys we always have really good conversations here on youtube and on instagram as well so with that being said i hope you guys have a beautiful and blessed day and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye guys my video and i literally get to the end and i realized that i did not tag the three people that i'm supposed to be tagging in this video so i'll be tagging rebecca collazo i'll tag as well the perfume realm i think that's how you pronounce the name i'm sorry if i'm butchering it and i also tag anna absolute I love all three of them i watch their videos i love their content and they're super funny and you guys should check them out i will also link their instagram and their youtube in my description box below so check them out they're a lot better than i am so check them out